smooth. Okay, I'm applying extra pressure. And it. Be like that every time I lay down. Besides the um, little delay or cancellation at the airport is pretty good. Okay, what's going on everybody? It's Kawhi. So this is going to be a real quick video. Um, yeah, this is going to be a real quick video. It's going to be a slight Q&A as well as an update on my recovery. Um, so today is March 16th, 2020. So I am five weeks and a few days post-op since I had my surgery. So um, I wrote down the questions and I'm just going to answer them from there, okay? So, where did you go? I, I went to Vicks and Plexus Surgery in Miami, Florida. The doctor that did my procedure was Dr. Cliff Cannon, um, board certified plastic surgeon. You can look him up on Real Self and all of those different things. Or whatever, whatnot. Um, I was actually originally going to go to Dr. Gray of Mia Aesthetics. But... It was a whole bunch of other things that had that happened in regards to that. If y'all want a story time about that, just let me know in the comments. My height, what was my height, weight, and BMI? I'm five foot five, and right before surgery, I weighed two fifteen. So my BMI was like a thirty five, like thirty five point eight. Uh, right now, actually, since the surgery, I've gained five pounds. So right now, like the last time I weighed myself, which was maybe two or three days ago, um. I weighed 220 pounds. <clears throat> How much was the surgery? The surgery, just the surgery itself was $5,000. Um, you should factor in a whole lot more than just the surgery um, if you are planning on getting this because the, it's the aftercare that's actually expensive, not necessarily the procedure itself. What did you do? I had got Lipo 360 and a BBL. So um, they took... Fat for my midsection, my sides, my love handles, my back, all the way down, and then they ingested, ingested, it, injected it into my my hips and my butt. Did you have to pay in full, or did you have a plan, payment plan? So I paid cash in a way. Basically, what I did was when I booked the surgery, I paid, I made a deposit, and um, once I paid the deposit. Because I was going to be paying with my debit card, I had to pay the rest of it up two weeks prior to the surgery if I was going to use my card. If I was going to use cash, <coughs> if I was going to use cash, I could have paid cash the day of surgery. So I made a deposit two weeks before it was time to do my, um, to have the actual surgery. I paid it in full. Um, I was, I was at first going to like send little money here and there. They will, they will allow you to do that. But if you want an actual payment plan, that's something that's like going through care credit. It will be financed. It will go your, it's that type of situation. Basically like taking out a loan for it. I wouldn't do that unless you, you know, I mean, if you can not do it, but I, that's not the route that I took. How much was it in total? Um, I am so sorry. Like, I had been this whole entire time that I was planning on doing the whole BBL thing and stuff. And when I decided that I was going to vlog it, I said that I was going to make a really, really, really super detailed and thorough video. Like, showing how much how much money I spent on everything individually or whatever. But then once it all happened, it just didn't play out that way. And I do apologize for that. But um, I will say that. I've spent well over $10,000, if not more. Um, one day I might just sit down and like actually do the do the math to, to show y'all, but be prepared. Like whatever, however much you have, um, for however much the surgery is, like at least double that, if not triple it, if you can, okay? Are the massages the worst part? In my opinion, in my opinion, uh, massages and like sleeping was like the most uncomfortable part for me. Are you okay? Is there still soreness? So yeah, I'm fine. Like um, 
I pretty much been living a normal life for the most part. Um, it's more like a lot of uncomfortable feelings. So um, I still swell up. Um, I'm still wearing my stage one fire high, but I altered it to fit tighter. Um, I wear a phone board and, um, by phones, I mean like the lipo phones and then I have an ad board and a backboard. For the sake of the video, I am not wearing the ad board, the backboard or the phone. So you can guys, so you guys will be able to see the shape because when I have on the phones and boards and stuff, I still look, I don't have any type of shape to be, to, to see in my opinion. So I just wanted y'all to see what's going on. Um, how bad did it hurt? Day one, right off the table, I felt pretty bad. Uh, I would say like maybe a six or a seven. And I didn't have any kind of pain medication other than Tylenol. I took two um, Tylenol 500. So it ended up being like a thousand milligrams of Tylenol that I took um, the entire day. My surgery, I went in for surgery at 930. That was my time. But I think they operated on me like an hour later, like at 10. And then um, after that, I so probably around 5 or 6 o'clock that night, I was fine. Uh, I was up, moving around. I kind of danced a little bit. If you're following me on, in, on my TikTok, you see that. I was fine day one. But day two is when I actually started like really feeling bad feeling pain and stuff like that. I kind of think it's because the effects of the anesthesia was like wearing all the way off. And um, <clears throat> yeah, the next question was, have you been able to sit yet? So I have not sat directly on my butt yet. I am sitting with my BBL pillow, but I only sit with my BBL pillow when I get ready to drive. Um, I did not go back to work until a full month post-op. So that's when I started driving and sitting on my BBL pillow. That's the only time I sit when I'm not at work and when I'm at home um, and stuff like that. I sit on my knees or I lay on my stomach um, or I'll just kind of just lean over or something like that. Um, Up until I started working, I was doing two massages a day. Um, It's kind of hard for me to get them in now because I be, you know, working and stuff like that but they are very 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 important if you don't have any if you're not getting massages you the, you, you need to because you'll be in a lot of pain you'll feel bad and once you get all those fluids and stuff out of you you'll feel a whole lot better and you'll have better results because you don't want to go through all of that pain and pay all that money to to look bad or to have to go back and get revisions and things of that nature um, what's something else? Everything is pretty much regular for me. Everything's pretty pretty much regular for me. I'm I'm eating whatever I want to, which is probably why I'm um gaining weight. I do plan on um starting back working out after like month three or four, um, so that I can like lose a little bit of weight or whatever but right now i'm just focusing on like feeding my fat um so i can have a maximum result is my booty soft it is kind of soft it's not as soft as it was prior to surgery um the first couple of weeks it was really really hard hard as a rock hard to wipe hard to do those types of things but then it starts softening up but it does soften, be soft sometimes, and then it does be hard sometimes. And I know that that's probably because of swelling. And um, yeah, it, it's it's because of swelling. Sometimes um, I take off the phones on the board and just wear the faha, but that's uncomfortable for me um, after too long. So keep your phones on board, so on y'all. Keep your massages. Stay up to with those massages. Don't just lay around. Try to keep your blood circ circulating. Like do a lot of walking around and things of that nature. Um, drink plenty of fluids. I drink plenty of water. 
I only drunk pineapple juice like the first two or three days post off. I have it since and I have I don't have any more bruising or anything like that. Um I can't think of anything else because I wasn't getting any questions. I did that the, all the questions that I got I asked about already. But that's pretty that's pretty much it. I feel fine. I'm happy with my results. I, I I'm kinda I kinda wanna round two. But only because um, I want wider hips. I, I, I really do want my hips to be a lot wider than what they are. That doesn't mean that I think he did a bad job because I actually love what he done for me. It's a big difference from what I had. Way, way, way big difference. But there's also like a way that I envision myself to be. Um, But I'm also just... Not even a full two months post-op either. And maybe in six months to a year, I might fall in love with the body that I already got. Um, but this recovery thing is a, is, a, is is no joke. And don't think that you're going to have the surgery and be able to like start wearing fun clothes and being cute and all that stuff right away. Don't do that. I know like you're going to be wanting to like, be eager and anxious to see like your results and see how you look in certain things. But like... All the time that you're not compressed and then if I hire stuff, you just you just prolong your your um recovery because every time you're not compressed, you're swelling up. And then you gotta try to get that back down, if that makes sense. So right now I have on my stage one faha that I have taken in, and then I also have on top of that faha one of my new girl co waist belts in a size I think I have a 2x on but it might be a 1x this is my first time wearing a pair of jeans um I'm actually gonna take them right off after this video because I don't think they're too tight but you don't want to wear like super super tight clothing right after the surgery because you can kill the fat um and I just don't think it's time yet I just did this so y'all can see or whatever so I'm just showing you my body and if you have any more questions or whatever, y'all, please comment them below and all those things. And thank y'all so much for following me on this journey. If I left anything out, please just um put them in the comment section and I might make a follow-up video. Maybe like a little short video for YouTube as well as TikTok and Instagram. So make sure y'all follow me on all of those platforms. But I'm going to show y'all what everything's looking like. So... This is what I've got going on. I might, if I can, put a side-by-side -side comparison so y'all can see what I started off with. But this is the side. And this is the back. And she does move. I don't know if you can, I don't know if it'll move in these pants. But she does move and bounce when I like wear a dress or something like that, or nothing at all. So, but I'm I, like I said, I'm actually I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy and pleased with the results that I got. So, thank y'all.